Welcome back to Fan Talk. I'm David. I'm Simon. Today we're going to be taking an early look at the Joker final trailer that's come out. Yeah, um, I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to this movie. It looks like a really good take on the character, and the early critics' reviews are definitely noteworthy. Uh, yeah. It might be in the contender for the award season. Let's go and check it out. All right. the same questions every week how's your job are you having any negative thoughts all I have are negative thoughts and finally in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job check out this guy when I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian everyone laughed at me well no one's laughing now you can say that again, pal. The mirror. It's so awful, isn't it? For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. Like psychological kind of thriller. You think this is funny? Is this a joke to you? Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Was good. Um, it's definitely a different take on the Joker compared to anything we've seen before. Oh yeah, and they had to after Heath Ledger. Well, yeah, after anybody you know does the Joker, it's going to be comparative to Heath Ledger after what you know his performance. Right, uh, it was it was fantastic. But I mean, it's a completely different direction. I'm going more for the psychological kind of how he became there. Yeah. And I don't know how much they're going to go into the whole crime side of it. They show a little bit, obviously, but it seems like it's going to be one big build up on how he got from here to there. Yeah. I'm interested to see if they can make that gap believable or make sense. You know, I'm, I'm kind of torn on this because I'm excited about the movie I am. Anytime they make a movie like this, I'm, I'm going to go see it, obviously. There is a little bit of, I think, the comic book nerd in me, and I think a lot of guys out there are thinking the same thing, is why. And it's not that we don't enjoy seeing the Joker on film. It's that part of that character, what makes him so unique and works so well in the comics, is that he doesn't have a backstory. He doesn't have an explanation. Your to, imagination to, is better at filling that yeah, in. Yeah, of why he is the way he is, or even where he came from, who he is. He just is. The Joker is chaos. You and know. left on its own, it's very effective, I think. And I, I'm i really hoping that they stick the landing on this one because it could actually add a lot to the mythos, a lot to the character if it's done right. Otherwise, even if it's a fantastic performance by Joaquin Phoenix, if the movie doesn't work, then, you know, it'd be pretty much for well, all Well, and this is going to be one of those things, too. If they could go in there and it just, it just blows everybody away, then even the biggest, you know, uh, Batman nerd and Joker fan is going to be like, okay, yeah, this is great. But otherwise, people are just going to be like, why did you do this to my favorite villain of all time? And so that that is something they have to look at here, is that you're, like, taking one of the most iconic superhero villains of all time, and a lot of people's very favorite that and if you turn him into something that people don't agree with or enjoy you're 
gonna get a lot of resentment. <laughs> True, but if it, overall the movie is so good, I think can kill, can overcome that. Yeah, uh, remember, absolutely. Remember uh, Batman '89? Everyone was up in arms about the Joker being shown the backstory that he's the one that killed Batman's his parents, parents and uh, his how he became the Joker with the uh, falling in the bat and everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now people accept that, not necessarily as the Joker canon, but within that movie, people. Yeah, are okay and, with that. and of course you, again they had a fantastic actor playing the Joker. Yeah. yeah Jack, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. And, and Joaquin Phoenix, in my opinion, is right on par with that. His acting ability is fantastic. He's an amazing actor, and if anybody can pull it off, I think it's him. Yeah. So, uh, that being said, getting away from me, you know, spitting out some negative there about it, uh, being a Batman fan and a big Joker fan, I am going to say that I am excited about this, and this preview, uh, I'd seen a couple of teasers. I hadn't seen this preview yet. Uh, I'm a lot more excited about it like just uh i was thinking it was going to be more on the fact that he was like maybe abused and mistreated and like this kind of sad man that somehow becomes the joker like a sympathetic character yeah sympathetic character and i don't want to see that in my joker this trailer showed him a bit more not on the offensive but a bit more on the um you know, he's the one crafting this personality and yeah. uh, going this direction. Yeah, and it, that it's not necessarily that he is a guy that's getting walked all over as much as it is. He's just a normal man trying to figure out a way to deal with what's going on in his mind, yeah. you know? Well, but, this uh, is uh, obviously released by Warner Brothers. comes out yep. on October 4th, 10-4, Roger. <laughs> um, obviously rated R don't bring the kiddos uh, we'll have to check out and see how R this is um, it's being directed by Todd Phillips of, uh, this is I thought was interesting uh, such movies as Old School The Hangover Trilogy yeah. and uh, Road Trip and now uh, he's doing The Joker <laughs> so I think some comedic sensibility might you know they haven't really shown a whole lot of that side of it in the trailers but I might have some well that's one of the great things about the joker is that he is such a villain in fact like a murderous villain but yet you can't help but laugh sometimes because he he's very charismatic and very funny and witty and uh and you almost sometimes find yourself almost rooting for him and then you're like what am i thinking this guy's a madman you yeah. know <laughs> so uh having that you know comedic film background is probably going to help him a little bit in like kind of grasping this character and getting him from one point to the other so yeah and i'm happy to see de niro in there i see some of him in the trailer and uh yeah, closing, closer look at uh, Joaquin Phoenix. I, as I said, he's already getting a lot of uh, you know Oscar and other uh, award buzz on this. Yeah. And I mean, his body looks emaciated. I mean, he lost a lot of weight on this. Yeah, and he's always been a good actor. So I'm like, he's, you know, walk, he's very. Uh, very... Well said, walk hard, yeah. walk the line. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and obviously a very gladiator. He's a good actor. I mean, yeah, yeah. and uh, I mean, he really throws himself into his roles. I mean, uh, Joaquin Phoenix is famous for uh, a lot of method acting, and where like people are like, this guy is lost his damn mind you know like there's a big buzz about him retiring from acting for a while and there was a whole documentary about it and it was actually that was just for that role oh. you know it's uh he's really throws himself into stuff so i can see him really you know encapsulating this role and, and doing a good job um, and again anybody that does it has to give 110 percent because i mean Already, people are going to be comparing it to Heath Ledger's performance, or so, Jack Nicholson, or, or even Jack Mark Hamill. Nicholson, yeah, Mark Hamill. Like all the people who've played this role, play, excluding one, has played it extremely well, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's not talk about the sixties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, even the Batman Lego was better. Yeah. <laughs> I was more thinking of a Suicide Squad. But, oh, oh, yeah, yeah but him too. I okay. Um, uh, Jared Leto or um, the uh, 1960s uh, Jared Joker. Leto, uh, it was I worse. Was, yeah, I was really let down by that. <laughs> but that being said, I'm not taking away from Jared Leto. He's done a lot of stuff I really, really have enjoyed. Uh, it, once again, we've said this a thousand times. I, I will knock on performances, and if anybody, <laughs> actors ever watching this, uh, don't be hating, because I mean, you, I probably love the body of their work, but you can only do what's in the script, right? Yeah. I mean, there's and great, directed and, yeah, and... great actors that get bad scripts or bad direction, you know, and are told to do a character a certain way when really maybe they wanted to do it a different way. You just 
No, he's had some behind the scenes antics so that are calling to question some choices. <laughs> leave, it leave it there. Yeah, but uh, no. And again, uh, this looks like it's going to be a really good, uh, good film, and I like it. The the DC is starting to kind of break away from trying to do exactly what Marvel's doing, kind yeah. of doing their own thing. They've had a little more success, like Shazam. I thought was really good. Yeah. Um, so we'll we'll see uh, what happens come October. Yeah, I think they're going to be lean, just going to lean in that just for a second on that. Um, yeah, DC, they leaning into doing the extended universes like at Marvel. Uh, everyone was trying to do that for a while, and I think everyone else but Marvel has pretty much given up at this point. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so I think D- I'm happy DC is kind of doing its own thing. I hope they don't give up the shared continuity, but they don't need to do it in the Marvel fashion, like like individual, individual team, individual, individual team. Yeah. They can just kind of share the continuity and do it their own way. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to, I mean... You can even have another Justice League film and include these actors in it without having to have it have, like, you know, a big, giant story arc, you know? Yeah, you don't need no more CGI armies and a sky beam. <laughs> We've done enough of those. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the Wonder Woman was decent. The oh, Very good. I'm sorry, it was good. Uh, the uh, Aquaman was good. The uh, uh, Shazam was good. Uh, they decided that another suicide squad is a good idea so we'll look to see if that's we'll see <laughs> yeah. you know I, I i say that oh. I, I talk oh, bad no. about suicide squad a lot and the funny thing is is a lot of people that have approached me and been like man you did not give them a fair shake i really enjoyed that movie and again you are very welcome to disagree with me folks i i, mean, I enjoyed I, watching the movie it was not that great of a movie yeah it's, just it's not starting that, to go into the guilty pleasure category. yeah the guilty pleasure category you know it's like hey you know every now and then you throw something in just just the because yeah. there's a lot of bad movies out there I like to watch. This was not one of them for me. <laughs> uh, actually, I did about to say I have some uh, uh, news on uh, Suicide uh, Squad 2, which uh, stay tuned for or take a look at our weekly roundup for uh, this week, and uh, you can hear it there because it'll just be a tease right now. <laughs> and I'm going to leave that there. Thanks for watching, and uh, please remember to like and subscribe.